I think for a while we thought that we could have the DAOs set them up and they could have their pool of funds to play with and they would just go and build things. I think what we've learned along the way is that we need to also align those incentives in, in many aspects at the same time and, and try and get that balance perfectly. It's very hard to do, but when you think you've got multiple parties involved there, you've got your players in the mining game and they just want to get mining rewards and NFT rewards, and that's the thing that's driving them in most cases. Then you've got DAO participants. Some want to really build DAO games or build DAO tools because they're sort of governance nerds. And, mm -hmm. and no matter what we do, whether there's a game there or not, they'd be interested in DAO governance and how that can work. Some people want to have power and they're not just so much about the DAO governance, they actually want to be a person uh, in control of um, a group and have that leadership quality, hopefully a positive leadership quality. And so the, the, the tricky balance here is to try and provide games and mechanics and align multiple incentives from different angles. We're now working on some mechanics to try and rebalance that out so that we're uh, pushing more in the favour of productive builders who are building some interesting and valuable things for the whole community.